Welcome to another tutorial on using AutoTracks. My name is David, and in this video, I will show you how to use the color bar to set the pen and fill color that is used when creating graphical entities such as lines, polar lines, arcs, circles, and text. I will also show you how to use the color bar to set the pen and fill color of all selected entities. The color bar is located at the bottom of the application's window. If the color bar is not visible, you can display it by clicking on the color bar button in the panel's ribbon tab. Clicking the color bar button will toggle the color bar's visibility. The first colored button from the left in the color bar will, if nothing is selected, set the pen color that is used when creating graphical entities. However, if something is selected then the pen color of the selected items will be set, but, the pen color, used for creating graphical items will not be changed. So, with nothing selected in the schematic, I will click on the first colored button, and select a color of red. Now, if I add a line, the color of the line will be red. I will illustrate this by adding a line. If an item is selected in the viewport, then the color displayed in the first color button will be the same as the color of the pen in the first selected item. If no items are selected, then the color displayed in the first color button will be the same as the pen color used when creating items. Now, if I click on the first color button and set the color to say blue, then the line's pen color will be set to blue. This will not change the pen color used when creating graphical entities. The second colored button, in the color bar if nothing is selected, will set the fill color that is used when creating graphical entities. However, if something is selected, then the fill color of the selected items will be set, but the default fill color will not be changed. So, with nothing selected in the schematic, I will click on the second colored button and select a color of green. Now, if I add a solid rectangle, the fill color of the rectangle will be green. I will illustrate this by adding a rectangle. If an item is selected in the viewport, then the color displayed in the second color button will be the same as a fill color of the first selected item. Now, if I click on second first color button and set the color to say magenta, then the fill color of the selected item will be set to magenta. This will not change the fill color used when creating graphical entities. The rest of the color buttons in the color bar set either the pen color or the fill color of all selected items to the color of the button. If no entities are selected, then the pen color or fill color used when creating graphical items will be set to the color of the button. If nothing is selected, left clicking on one of the color buttons will set the fill color used when creating graphical items. If nothing is selected, right-clicking on the color buttons will set the pen color used when creating graphical items. Text entities are different to all other graphical entities in that left or right-clicking on one of the color buttons sets the text color to the color of the button. The third button from the left in the color bar is the transparency button. Left or right clicking this button will set the pen color or the fill color to be transparent. You need to use this with care as you could create an invisible entity. That brings this tutorial video to an end. I hope you have learned the power of the color bar to set colors. Like most things, practice makes perfect. So, please try things out for yourself by creating objects and setting the colors of the objects and the colors used when creating objects. Thanks for watching.